Okay, I have the box form done. Put it together. And darn if I didn't have the wrong size, the measurements wrong, had to recut. So I had to patch pieces of wood together to try to make a side and stuff like that. But the overall dimensions will be on the inside, it's going to be from this edge to this edge 20 inches inside minus whatever the corners are and length from this end of course down to here it'll be 23 inches the height is 18 inches all right and uh, once we fill that with concrete I've got to make holes now to put uh, some pipes in which will be uh, about eight inches high from the bottom. And uh, that will be where they will connect to the quick hitch and the two lower arms. And then of course I will have a top hitch that I will set in place here once I get the uh, lower bar put in there first. The bar I'm using is a one inch outer diameter metal bar I got at Lowe's. Got a one that was about uh, 72 inches. And I'm gonna, though this is only going to be 20 inches wide, the actual bar will be 30 to 32 inches so that it can stretch across and stay within the uh, lower arms of that quick hitch. All right, let me turn to. I made that hole where it was needs to be. <laughs> Guess we'll find out, huh?
Okay, that's gonna be a little tight. That's where the measurements meant something. Of course, the box can't fit under there. But once it gets filled with concrete, it'll be one that the uh, three-point hitch can definitely lift it. All right, sorry for making you go through that. I'm trying to get these legs squared away here. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's center this if I can. And that's how it's <clears throat> going to fit under there. drive back, straddle it, straddle the sides, and the uh, main thing is I want to make sure that the top of this, which is 18 inches, does not go higher than that. If it does, I'm not going to fill it as far. I'll fill it with uh, up to this mark only. So. We start uh, cutting some rebar pieces, put down in there. I'll connect this lower portion of the bracket to that pipe. I'll put another pipe like this in here to go across. It's not needed for weight. It's so that when I have this thing already made, there will be two pipes in there and I can pick it up with my forklift. So all of this is in theory. We'll know as we know. I want to get one whack at it. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I'm going to try to uh, pour concrete in here. Got the form done. Modified it quite a bit. And as you'll see, blow it up a little. Put some rebar down in there, connecting bars. I'm doing it while it's on the tractor because that tractor will hold the uh, position for that bracket that's hanging on the uh, top of the quick hitch. I know I could have tied it, but I already made some type of brace to hold it there, but everything I kept doing was being off. This project's getting longer than I really desired. All right, I've got uh, supplies here. I'm going to try two different things. One was, like I mentioned, filling it up with cement while it's still on the tractor and in place. Number two, with the cement, I'm going to try to uh, use a totally different apparatus. I've got a uh, drill with a gigantic egg beater type head on it. Let's see if I can do this. Force be with us. Okay, right there. And it's a drill. Milwaukee drill. Heavier duty one. And that, see if I'm going to be able to mix cement with it. We'll see. You will see also. I've never done it before with a drill beater. I've always done it by hand. All right, let's get started. I'm going to put it in a little fast motion so it's not monotonous.
right, it mixes. Okay, but that drill is not powerful enough for it. It'll burn it up. So we're gonna have to do it the hard way. All right, let me get to it. Got her filled up, we'll wait for it to settle. Losing light, so I'll probably be doing some of this through the night just to uh, give it one last licking. Seven bags, I thought it would be eight, but seven bags. So we'll see how that does. Okay, finally uh, got this thing done. That's what's left of the form that I built. That's seven pounds or seven 80 pound bags in this. I still can't get it to the perfect three point hitch, quick hitch style, but I can definitely lift up on it. I have to take the pin out because I'm off just a smidgen but and I recessed this and made this go in because from here to over here with the recess part is 18 and a half inches. And my pallet fork are fixed and they'll fit right in there and be able to lift up on this and this when I wanna move it around. Of course, I can move it around on the tractor, but just in case I had the tractor out or have some other piece of equipment on it. Okay, we'll see it in action in a in the next clip.
is it really three-point hitch compatible? It's a hunk of a piece of concrete there, but it's going up well. So, yes, it is compatible. All right, on to the next project.